It's about a man called Peter who is a Christian minister and he's married to his wife Bea who he loves very much. They're both involved in the church together and he gets the commission to go to an alien planet and to minister to the spiritual needs of the native population of that planet. And he gets to go, but his wife doesn't get to go. So she stays home on Earth. And the novel really looks at what happens, not just to him on, on his adventures in this strange new world, but also what happens to her on our world and what happens to their marriage, to their relationship. It's a book so much about human beings and the, um, the nuances of the interactions between human beings, um, which is obviously not usually what classic science fiction is about. I think that The Book of Strange New Things is science fiction in a comparable way to something like Slaughterhouse-Five. You read it at a fair clip, people do turn the pages and want to know what, what happens next. but it does have a lot of layers to it if you're inclined to to look beneath the surface. I don't think I would wish to write a book that was just about one concept, uh, one back of the envelope concept. Um, I, I like the idea of complexity and I think that there are readers out there who can handle that.